This is a very disturbing story, but it happened. Scientists working for the U.S. government secretly gave people sexually transmitted diseases as part of a study. It happened during the 1940s after World War II. At least 5,500 people in Guatemala, including prisoners, mental patients, and children, were experimented on. 1,300 of those were exposed to, exposed to STDs, including syphilis and gonorrhea. 83 people died during those experiments. And the goal of the research was to determine whether taking penicillin after sex would protect against those sexually transmitted diseases. It was a medical priority at the time, especially in the military. Well, last fall, President Obama ordered a review of what happened. And now that panel has come out with this report. Joining us is the head of that panel, the Presidential Commission for the Study of Bioethical Issues. Amy Gutman is also the president of the University of Pennsylvania. Um, professor, first of all, you know, explain to us what you, your panel has learned about this, perhaps even the most disturbing information about what your panel discovered. A group of medical researchers, doctors and scientists working for the American government between 1946 and 1948 treated their fellow human beings in a way that can only be characterized as egregious and shocking. Uh, there were gross violations of human rights. They did not obtain the consent from any of the people um, they were using for research in Guatemala. And those people included some of the most vulnerable populations in Guatemala. Mental patients, soldiers, uh, children. How did they infect um, them? They um, infected them in a variety of ways. Um, they infected them, some of them using commercial sex workers who they also infected with syphilis or gonorrhea. They, in one case, uh, is so graphic that it's hard to actually speak about it, but they, one woman who was a mental hospital patient, they inoculated in her arm syphilis, and when she developed symptoms, Dr. Cutler wrote in his journal that it looked like she was dying and then they injected gonorrheal pus in both her eyes, in her urethra, in her rectum, and she did die shortly thereafter. This happened over many month period, Professor. Um, and they never treated. They mm -hmm. never treated her. This group of researchers actually actively inoculated people and did not obtain their consent. And earlier, in a experiment in Terre Haute, Indiana. Um, they took pains. They knew that they did have to ethically and legally obtain a, a informed consent. And yet they went to Guatemala and they didn't do so. All right. Professor, very disturbing information. Thank you for bringing it to us.